It's the K-Country Morning Show with Gabe and Carrie. You can listen to us on the K92.3 app and on this podcast. This October, Tanger invites you to shop pink and save lives. Your donation of $10 or more to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation helps fuel innovative research that brings us closer to a cure. It also unlocks exclusive savings from brands like Coach, Crocs, Columbia Factory Store, and more to shop all month long. Join us as we mark 30 years of advancing research and empowering hope. Donate and access your exclusive savings today at tanker.com. It's K92.3 with Gabe Glidden and Miss Carrie Mack. Happy Wednesday. We hope you had an awesome Tuesday. How was your Tuesday yesterday, Carrie? It was A-OK. I I just can't believe it's finally October. I'm kind of still shocked at that. Really? Yeah, because the year's practically over. Oh, yeah, kind of. How many of us are actually doing work? In In the last quarter of the year. Yeah, yeah, dang. Uh, Gabe, how was your Tuesday? It was good. It was very relaxing at the Glidden's. It's kind of nice to know that for the next foreseeable weekends, I have nothing to do, which I love. Right on. Which will be nice, at least I think. But who knows? I'll get home today and find out. Don't you have a wedding or something? You're right. I do have a wedding coming up in October. (laughs) Oh, no. I forgot all about that. Sorry, Duff. But I'll be there. (laughs) But at least for the next couple of weekends, I can just sit at home. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Other than that, not a whole lot going down at the Glidden's. I'm just rolling through Yellowstone trying to finish it. Trying to finish it. I'm just, I finished rewatching Reba. So that's the biggest accomplishment in my life right now. (laughs) It's the K-Country Morning Show with Gabe Glidden and Miss Carrie Mack. Uh, We're going to play the five-second rule game here to warm on up the brain stems on this Wednesday. Woo, 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 woo. All right, Carrie. I want you to name three TV game shows that you could play to win money on. That realistically I could play? Yeah, just in anybody. Oh, Jeopardy? Because I don't think I could win Jeopardy. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Can we bring back Deal or No Deal? That's a great show. It's interesting you say that because the what sparked this question was I saw Howie Mandel on the TV behind you. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, he was the host of that one show. I love Deal or No Deal. Great show. Uh, I want, I wonder how real some of that is. I think it has to be real because they're winning money. I mean, I, gr- I agree, but I wonder if they weed out to try to find people they know are going to go for it. Because the second that it's like 100 plus, yeah. I'll take the money. See ya. I don't care. Give me the money. I'm out of here. Some people do that. But it's so rare. I think they're probably encouraged to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, do they kind of, you know, try, push the contestants to try to win? Probably. The mill? Yeah, go. Yeah, they probably do that. Yeah. Gabe, can you name three talking animals in movies? Oh, sure. Uh, Dory. Yeah. Um, in Cinderella, the mice. Okay. Gus Gus could talk. I identify as Gus Gus. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's go with in the Lion King, Scar could talk. Okay, okay. And Mufasa. There we go. All right, Carrie, in five seconds or less, and we are going to talk about something regarding this later on in today's program, but in five seconds or less, I want you to name three ingredients that contribute to making the perfect taco guacamole cheese and honestly taco lettuce really hits okay i don't know why but it just hits are you going like beef or chicken or steak for the protein part of that um for me it doesn't matter i enjoy all, i enjoy all the meats beautiful we have the meats, the meats. <laughs> gabe can you name three famous commercial catchphrases like we have the meats like that arby's we have the meats yeah. i love that one um, who does uh, have it your way? Is that McDonald's? I think that's Subway. Is it Subway? Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Well, clearly, it worked on me. <laughs> um, and then I always loved this one. I think it's Men's Outfitters, but you're gonna like the way you look. Oh, I like that. It's not good. like a jingle, really, yeah. but it's like a catchphrase. I do like the at Menards. Oh, save big money. At Menards. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right, Carrie, in five seconds or less, 
Can you name any, it doesn't matter where, what part of the country, any high school mascots? A, a Trojan? Sure. We used to play against them. Wyzetta, where I grew up. The Hornets? There's got to be. The, uh, my, my high school rival were the Honesdale Hornets. Beautiful. And, oh my gosh, the Lions? Probably there's a lion somewhere. I can't. Yeah, I can't yeah. prove you wrong. I'm not lying to you about that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Gabe. Can you name three things you would never lie about? Three things I would never lie about. I was just thinking about the lion, honestly. Three things I would never lie about. Wow, that's tough. I guess I don't know. Think stupid things, probably like, like, um. If I'm married, yeah, I would never lie about that. Um, I would never lie about if I am going to attend your party or not. Yeah. And I would never lie about uh, who my favorite professional football team is. Yeah. All right, Carrie, I got one for you. In five okay. seconds or less, can you name three things you wish you had more time to do? Um. Oh, my gosh. I wish I had more time... To read, because I I just get caught up in other stuff. Uh, I wish I had more time to spend with my family. Sure, for sure. And I wish I had more time to travel. It's K ninety two three with Gabe Glidden and Carrie Mack. For those who are unaware, if you're just tuning in this morning, yesterday was National Taco Day, and I'm Ooh. kind of a I'm kind of a firm believer that. If, if, unless there is some type of stomach problem, allergy, actual health concern, if someone doesn't like tacos, I don't know if you need that negative energy in your life. That's a red flag. Yeah. Now, once again, if there is a health problem, stomach issue, whatever, that yeah. is a whole different can of worms. Yeah. But who doesn't like tacos? I mean, even vegetarians can find veggie tacos. Exactly. That's the thing. I... I I don't know what it is about them. They are just so simple. They are so good. They are yep. so, depending on where you go, they are consistent. 90% yep. of U.S. adults eat tacos. So nine out of 10. And Carrie and I do have the question. You can enjoy both, by the way, mm -hmm. but there's always the big, great debate yes. with tacos. Hard shell tacos or soft shell or tortilla mm -hmm. tacos, however you want to put it. Carrie, if you had to pick one forever... Which one would you go with? It's easy because the thing is you can't have a hard shell burrito, you know? Sure. And they're very good. Sure. I enjoy a burrito. That I usually go for a burrito over a taco, but there is something special about that hard shell taco, mm -hmm. especially shout out to Taco Bell, the Doritos Locos Tacos. It's incredible. Absolutely fire. I believe if you're not getting a little bit hurt from chewing on the hard shell taco, <laughs> Then yeah. you haven't enjoyed a taco. It's, it's like hitting your gums. Yeah, exactly. You're like, uh, I'm sorry. This is part of the challenge. This is part of the joy of enjoying a hard shell taco. So I am team hard shell taco all the way because tortillas, those are meant for burritos. Sure. I'll say it. Okay. I, I, I'll say it. Well, I, you did. Twice. <laughs> um, I also... I'm always forever going to be team hard shell. Yes. Now, it kind of depends on if we have certain rules behind our game, but I don't think we do. Hard shell tacos, I will say, for convenience, are an absolute pain in the butt. Yeah. If you have a tortilla, you can, you know, there are certain foods that are impossible to eat while yeah. you're kind of driving, which I don't rec recommend anyone doing. But like a soft shell taco, you can kind of eat and do anything you want. A really? hard shell, kind of. It's, I just feel like it's because it's so malleable, it'll fall apart easier. Not even close. The second you kind of bite into a hard shell taco, it is falling apart. No, that... Like the second you it, bite into it. It represents the the brevity of life. Well, I'm with you. <laughs> you have to go fast and consume that taco so you <laughs> right. can enjoy it. Right. But for ease, I would always take tortilla. But for choice of flavor, yes. crunch... What I'm going to have for dinner, 
hard shell 100 out of 100 times. And Gabe tried to cheat. We were talking about this yesterday. <laughs> he was, was like, you know, I just, you know, I don't prefer either of them. I go for, what'd you say exactly? So what we do at the Glidden House when it's kind of like taco night or yeah. whatever, we get Doritos mm -hmm. and we'll put all the taco ingredients in a bowl, aka just like a taco salad or a taco bowl, whatever you want to yeah. call it. And then I'll crunch up Doritos and put those in the bowl. Yeah. So that's kind of like the chips, the hard shell, whatever. Yes. And it is quite literally like a gift from the heavens. It is so good. And Gabe was like, I prefer that. I was like, no, you have to play by the rules, Gabe. <laughs> Hard shell all the way. Country Morning Show. My name is Gabe Glidden. And Halloween, officially the end of the month. We are near, uh, what is it, about 29 days away from Halloween. It's a good chance you've seen candy out when you visit the grocery store. Maybe you even have some already in a dish or a bowl or something at your house for any guests. And we have discovered what the most popular Halloween candy here in Iowa is. And it's tough to argue, number one, this is my all-time favorite candy. I don't eat a ton of candy, but when I do, it is impossible to turn down a Reese's Cup. Are you a Reese's Cup fan? Supposedly... Uh, in Iowa during Halloween, 719,211 Reese's Cups uh, will be consumed here in Iowa. And Reese's Cups pretty popular around the country. 67,426 pounds are sold each year. Iowa's second favorite Halloween candy. We have got Hershey's Minis, which are dangerous. Any bite-sized candy, I'm in trouble. It's impossible to not eat half a bag. And the third favorite Halloween candy here in Iowa, M&M's, which you can check out this list on the K92.3 app. I know growing up around Halloween, we would have like various little treat bowls uh, around the house. And there was always M&M's, little Hershey's and those things. And then right at about Halloween, we'd go trick-or-treating and us kids would put all the ones we didn't want in the bowl uh, for mom and dad and they had no problem eating them. On the way, we've got Sam Hunt also coming up. Your Nashville News on the K-Country Morning Show. It's the K-Country Morning Show on K92.3, and it's time for your Nashville News Minute. 2025 is going to be pretty epic. Country music tours have already been announced for Randy Travis, Thomas Rhett, Riley Green, and Cody Johnson, or as the kids call him, Kojo. But Rascal Flatts and Cross Canadian Ragweed both just announced reunion shows. Uh, Rascal Flats will be breaking their retirement in order to go back out on the road for the Life is a Highway tour. It will be the band's first time together in over five years. It's going to run from February through April of next year. And Lauren Elena and Chris Lane will be opening up. Uh, this is really cool. There's going to be a stop in Moline. Oh, right on. Yeah, check out the story on the K92.3 app. It's going to be really exciting to see uh, Rascal Flats back together. And this this opening band is called Cross Canadian Ragweed? Yeah, that's... I did some... I did a quick Google whilst uh, you were explaining what was going on here. That sounds like what I'm allergic to. <laughs> exactly. The band consists of Cody Canada, Grady Cross, and Randy Ragsdale. That's cool. So I guess that's why the Cross... Canadian ragweed comes to play. That's pretty interesting, actually. A play on all three of them. I like that. It's kind of like the Eli Young band. I, man, if there was a band that was a combination of both of our names, that'd be pretty sick. Boy, that'd be tough. The Mac Glidden's yeah. or Glidden <laughs> Mac. It just doesn't roll off the tongue, does no, it? No, we gotta we gotta find something better. <laughs> Free window, basically, in our house open and the ceiling fans going. It was cold waking up this morning. I was under my blanket with the fan on. I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be tough. So I took the blanket off, turned the fan down to, like, ultra low. And yeah. then I was ready to go. But it was chilly waking up this morning in that house. I will say yesterday I did turn the AC off. And that's, like, a first for me. That's an emotional first for me. And I want you to, like, appreciate the, the major growth that's gone on. I feel you. Because I uh, turned off the AC because I have AC in, like, my living room and my bedroom. 
Sure. So I turned it off in the bedroom because I knew it was going to be a, a little chilly this morning. Well, I got some news for you. Today, a high of 75. Tomorrow, we're back in the 80s. And Stop. Then it's, and then it's 75 and then 80 again. Can we just keep it in the 70s? <laughs> yes, I For the agree. love of all that's good in this world. Come on. <laughs> We've got Old Dominion, Morgan Wallen, and Carrie Underwood coming up. And here on the K Country Morning Show, mm-hmm. we take pride in, in asking you the questions that truly matter. Yes. And, you know, we're not talking about world politics or or the economy or no. or you know state infrastructure we're not we, philosophizing i don't even know if that's a word <laughs> Philosoph- <laughs> oh, that's a tough I, I think it was pretty good though thank you we are talking the question you'll be talking to your buddies or your coworkers at work today your girlfriends whatever or your kids or your kids when they go to school is it a hard shell or a soft shell taco that you are having when you get yourself some tacos on a taco Tuesday. I do know it's Wednesday, by the way. But that is the question we have for you today, and we want to know the answer. It it was a National Taco Day yesterday, and we didn't see that until after the fact. So we just wanted to, you know, ruminate on this. We wanted to talk about this a little bit more because it really is an important issue that uh, people aren't talking about enough. <laughs> That's right. We're not going to just skip past taco day yesterday no so. it's an important holiday it's it means a lot to americans <laughs> well, it's the k country morning show with gabe Lynn and carrie mack yesterday was national taco day carrie it's celebrated ever it, it was celebrated excuse me every year on the fourth but they changed it to the first tuesday in october i so wonder why it, it's always taco tuesday of course uh carrie i'll be honest there's no real wrong way I think, in my humble opinion, to enjoy these delicious uh, pieces of food. I right? think there is, but... Some, some steak, some chicken, some beef. Some veggie some, situation. Some veggies, get yourself a little cheese, whatever you... However you want to make them. Yeah. I think that is the type of positive energy the world needs. Yeah, truly. Now, if you have your choice in the matter, are you going soft shell or hard shell? So there is a wrong way to eat a taco. And I believe it's like with a fork and a knife. Like I, I don't understand like the taco salad situation here. Okay. That, like that's not a thing where I'm from. That is absolutely wild. I'm not going to yuck anyone's yum, but I'm just like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> I didn't know Pennsylvania was the taco capital of the world, Carrie. No, I what didn't. Do you mean say- where you're from? Pennsylvania? I, we, I don't think we have taco salads in Pennsylvania. <laughs> they- one thousand percent do tacos, <laughs> salads, <laughs> Pennsylvania. There's definitely a restaurant in Pennsylvania with a taco salad. No, it's just dairy. like the breakfast pizza. There's not really breakfast pizza uh, where I'm from. Okay, but back to this. Okay, never mind. Best ten taco salads <laughs> near Philadelphia. I was wrong. I'll admit it. My family was not a taco oh, salad family. That's funny. We didn't really have them either growing up. Um, but I do believe in my heart of hearts. <laughs> if you go for a soft shell taco, I'm sorry. Get out of here. What's going on? Just get a burrito. Like if you had, if I had to choose the option, I'm going hard shell every day, all day, every day. Uh, I will say this. Pablo's in downtown Cedar Falls has delicious tacos, and uh, those were soft shell, and they were amazing, especially when I was a bit buzzed. Great experience sure. there. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. But if I had to choose one for the rest of my life, I'm going hard shell. Yeah. All day, every day. The crunch is delicious. It just, the, the saltiness is great. <laughs> and I think... With me, I'm worried that, like, the stuff is going to fall out of the soft shell taco. Okay. And it's a little bit too floppy, in my opinion. Okay. It's unreliable. A, okay. A hard taco shell is strong, that, accountable. You, you, I'm with you. I'm team hard shell, but I don't think you could be more wrong. It's a hard shell taco literally breaks apart every time you bite into no, it. No, you have to be smarter than the taco. So you, you have, have to be to, smarter. So you have to work, though. A soft shell taco, you can just eat from one end to the other. Nothing. We're There's having no way that's true. It's not working for. <laughs> I believe that the work you put into oh, a hard oh, shell taco oh. is worth it in the end. I agree with you 1000%. Yes. There's no way that more falls out of a soft shell than a hard shell, though. There's no way. As someone who. I've had, watched you try to house 10 of these. Yeah. <laughs> And all the leftovers just fall to the ground. Right. Exactly and, my point. And then afterwards, you just 
Chug them. Like, you just put them in your mouth. There do we the go. Old, it's like uh, you flip it up in the air and catch it. Yeah, yeah, you do, you do that. That's the American way. You go oh, for the God. hard shell taco. And again, formal apologies to the state of Pennsylvania, not realizing <laughs> there was taco salad there. Uh, I am team hard shell as well. I yes. love the I love the crunch. You're right. The crunch, completely correct. The saltiness of it. Oh. You know, I'm I'm a, a salt, salt connoisseur, which is not necessarily great for you. That's kind of my treat my candy you yeah know, because I, you don't like sweets i don't like sweets a ton i'm a sodium kind of guy so that's I, fair i do enjoy the hard shell i am 1000 percent with you on that i'm with you if you have a soft shell it's just kind of a small not fully completed burrito yeah in my opinion i will say though if you have ever tried and i am not recommending doing this this isn't safe but i'm not going to sit here and say i've never done it you know you, you're on a road trip or you're going somewhere you get something to eat real quick you're Kind of trying to eat and drive at the same time. Once again, not safe. I will. I'll take a soft shell and drive all day of the week. No. A hard shell taco is impossible to You're eat and drive. In. It's impossible in. to eat and drive at the same time. You without can. A complete mess all over your lap and in your car. So what you have to do is you have to kind of lean the taco back. Not too far. Well, I don't want to take my eyes off the road while I'm driving, Carrie. Then maybe have Corey drive this time and you eat your tacos in peace. Well, I'll just get the soft shell one and just kind of one hand it. Okay, good. Good for you. I appreciate you giving Corey the time to be a no. passenger princess That's that right. she deserves. But I will say, um, if I do happen to have a taco, a hard shell taco break apart... I have no problem kind of just tossing it, all of it in a bowl and sort of just eating it like cereal, which is kind of a crime in and of itself. But I have no problem doing it. I will die on that. I just, I just pick it up and put it back in. That's what you do, I feel like. But both are good options. No. But I am team hard shell for sure. And now I'm very hungry. And I'd like to give a formal <laughs> apology to the Cedar Valley because now everyone is probably going to go for lunch for tacos right. today. Yeah, is there like breakfast tacos? I know there's like breakfast burrito things you can do oh. where it's like eggs and sausage or eggs and beef or what have you. I'm trying to think if they have a hard shell breakfast taco. That'd be kind of interesting. Oh. Right, well, let us know what you think on the K92.3 app or Facebook. I'm already seeing ch people chiming in on both of those things. And uh, we'll find out what you think today here on the K Country Morning Show where we ask the hard hitting questions. It's the K-Country Morning Show with Gabe Blinn and Carrie Mack. Are you going tortilla-style taco or are you going hard-shell-style taco? Of course, the questions we really need to be talking about on a day-to-day -day basis here on the K-Country Morning Show. The questions that you really care about. Exactly. That's the thing. The we know. Yeah, we know what you're going to be talking about at work, at home with the kids. We know. At the at the the water cooler, That's as right. the kids say. Or, or the job site. Yeah, there we go. I just want to know how many people are going to be having conversations about this at work today. <laughs> Uh, if you're unaware, yesterday was National Taco Day, and uh, we didn't want to breeze right past it. We did want to talk about it a little bit today. Are you uh, team hard shell or team soft shell? And Carrie and I both feel a certain type of way yes. in which we're in agreement. I will say, however, yes. there is one superior way to do it, but it doesn't fit into the parameters of our game. And we can all agree it's the walking taco. <laughs> I love Doritos with mine. Oh, my God. Why does it hit? It's so good. It is incredible. When Corey and I make tacos, you know, we brown the hamburger, do all the taco yeah. mix, all the seasonings, ingredients, blah, blah, blah. We put all of that in a bowl grab a bag of Doritos uh, and just crunch them in and I just eat it like cereal. It's so good. It's incredible. Oh my gosh. Justice for anyway. walking tacos. Anyway, hard shell or soft shell, Carrie? Kelly said hard. Uh, Courtney said soft shell because street tacos are the best. Real street tacos. Okay. I will say those are really good. Those are fire. Uh, Melissa said soft. It wraps everything together for a perfect bite. See, I'm sort of with that in the sense of very convenient. I do think the, you know, having the tortilla way more convenient if you're on the go, if you're trying to get somewhere, you're trying to walk somewhere, you got to drive, whatever the case may be, the convenience of the, the tortilla soft yes. shell taco, in my opinion, uh, is supreme to the hard shell, but the hard shell tastes better and I like the salt. It is convenient, but I will say this. You know what's not convenient but still delicious? A Thanksgiving meal. You can't eat a Thanksgiving meal on the road. You know? You gotta enjoy the, the grand things in life sometimes. You know, uh, there's a time and a place for everything. That's what I'm trying to okay, say. I, was gonna, I don't know if I follow this metaphor <laughs> at all, but I'm with you now. Taco shells are like the Thanksgiving of tacos. 
God, I'm so stupid. Uh, Kayla said, um, lived in PA and definitely had taco salad. Formal apology. There's uh, another one. Can I share with you? As Go for You tried it. to claim there's no taco salads in Pennsylvania? I would like to formally apologize, <laughs> but please read the comment what a so, I can res- so I can respond. Uh, this was from Big Al from Cresco. He said, no taco salads in Pennsylvania, question, question, question. Uh, he also wanted to know if you've ever had a walking taco, which you've answered. Yes, walking tacos. Incredible. We, we have them in PA, I will say that. <laughs> But again, I'd like to formally apologize uh, to the taco salad community in Pennsylvania, which I know there are many, because guess what? Each time I have something or I see something in Iowa that I've never seen or heard of before in Pennsylvania, I just claim it doesn't exist. Right. Well, you know, this is coming from someone who had her first corn dog at 25. 24. Sorry, 24. Give me so another year. Put I some li- respect on that. Yeah, I like to give you a tiny bit of a, a little bit of grace when it comes to your food opinions, food takes. Yeah. I just don't know if the palate has really been expanded, except over the course of the past two years. Yeah, I think I think it has expanded and I have grown as a human being. There we go. Uh, but a lot of people are coming through with these. Uh, John said on Facebook, I like a hard shell oh. wrapped with a soft shell. He's that, cheating, but I love it. Is that like a crunch wrap from Taco Bell? Well, you, what you have, Carrie. Walk is, me through this. What you have, Carrie, is you have a hard shell taco. I, I understand. And then you take the tortilla and just put it around it. But isn't there a special type of like <laughs> taco that they sell at Taco Bell? Yeah, there definitely is. Yeah. Okay. I don't I don't exactly remember what they're called, but yeah, it's it's what it it is what you think it is. Yeah, no, I, I'm getting the picture. I'm just like, have they marketed this yet? Oh, it's definitely real. Yeah. yeah okay. They're definitely just sorry, John, you're not the first one to come up with that. Um, but he's also correct. Another great, convenient way to keep the mess from the hard shell taco uh, falling apart. Yeah, we have some more opinions on Facebook and the K92.3 app that we are very uh, excited to get through. I have to give my boy Dakota Dave a little bit of love here. We're okay. going to share what he said coming up in about uh, 10, 10 or so minutes. Him and I, I'm not saying are the creators of this, the inventors, but we're on the same page. The You're same on the same wavelength. wavelength. Yes. <gasps> and... It, it's it really is the best by far way, and we'll have that for you in ten minutes on the K Country Morning Show. Tree Morning Show, the great debate rages on, and no, not the one you maybe saw on TV last night. We're talking about the one that uh, matters at this very moment: yeah. the hard shell versus soft shell taco debate. Yesterday was National Taco Day, and we're going to try to discuss something on the K Country Morning Show that you're really going to discuss at work. Yes, it's not going to be what you watched on TV last night. It'll be this question: Yeah, which is better, the soft shell <laughs> or the hard shell? What is the better taco exterior? That's right. And we're getting, let me tell you, when we're asking for, like, sincere advice, two, three comments maybe, but when it's about soup and stuff like this, let me tell you, the comments are rolling in, and it's pretty funny. Uh, Melissa said, soft shell with Doritos, crumbled inside, best of both worlds. I like that a lot. It is very interesting you put it that way. Who was that? That was Melissa. Melissa, uh, you, our buddy Dakota Dave, and myself, are all on the same page here. Uh, Dakota Dave said, when we do our taco night, I crush Doritos into my burrito. Gotta have that crunch. If you have not joined the Dorito, either mixed in with the taco, mixed in with the soft shell, or you just put it in a bowl and eat it like cereal, uh, you're missing out. Yeah. Doritos with the taco is almost a necessity at my life in this point. It's it's very delicious. Uh, let's see what else. Jazz said hard, and then she did one of those little emojis, like, Beautiful. of course. Yep. Uh, we got a message from Adela who said, soft if it's on the go, like Taco Bell, yep. hard at home. Love that. It's easiest to eat while driving. I, I mm-hmm. do think the soft shell taco, definitely good. Uh, The tortilla, good on the road, good on the go. When you can sit down and actually take some time and enjoy your meal and talk to the people around you or talk to your cats, whatever the case may be, (laughs) maybe talk to your dog, (laughs) Uh, then I'm going to go with the the shell with the crunch. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a very good point. Like I said before, it's like the Thanksgiving of tacos. Uh, You got to sit down and enjoy it. Uh, Stefan said, how dare you make me make these kinds of life decisions this early in the morning? <laughs> but I guess hard shell. That's what the K Country Morning Show is for. <laughs> on the way. Um, uh, excuse me. On the way, we have Luke Combs, as I find out where I am on the computer here. And uh, there was an interesting 
a situation that Carrie found herself in last night that maybe you have found yourself in a time or two before, and she would like to share it with you here today. And I went about it all wrong. I was telling Gabe about this off the air, and I, I went about it wrong, and I'll admit it. <laughs> It's the K-Country Morning Show with Gabe Glidden and Carrie Mack. And you had an interesting trip to, where was it? It was Target. I'll admit it. It was Target. Target Boutique. So I headed to Target yesterday evening for one reason and one reason only. Okay. And I think everyone has experienced this. Or if they haven't, they've thought they, about this experience in their mind. Well, they will one day. You know yes. what I'm saying? There's not... There, you either have done this or you will do this. There's yes. no third option. Uh, or you already have this item and you don't need to go oh, indicate. True. So I had to go to Target to get a plunger because I needed one. And <laughs> I'm not laughing. You're not laughing? No, I am not laughing. I'm ready for the story. Because they've all... People have always told me you got to get a plunger because... You have to have one. Because the worst thing is when you need it and you don't have one. Yeah, yeah. That should just be something every home almost comes equipped with. You and I, I had a plunger in my old apartment, but I threw it out because I was like, ah... Uh, you uh, know, I'll like, get a new one. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And I never got a new one. Yep. And I didn't need one until recently. Until you needed one. Until I needed one. So I went to Target and for some reason... Why are they so expensive, these plungers, by the way? I want to, I would like to check out the, the, uh, the plunging apparatus that you purchased because I, this sounds like a crazy expensive plunger. It was $30. Yeah. Because it had the sheath. You know, you just pop the, the plunger back in and it covers it up, which is very convenient. And I really like that because it looks much nicer. But I went to Target and that was the only thing I needed. And I went to the self-checkout line because I refused to go to the actual cashier line because I didn't want the, to have this conversation. The only, yeah, when that's the only thing you buy, we yeah. were talking off the air. If that's me, I'm grabbing picture frames. I'm grabbing fall house decor that I hate and would never actually need. I should have actually grabbed. Uh, Carrie, I'm looking at. No, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I should have grabbed prunes. I should have grabbed like, you know, yo play. Sure. That's Some gogurts. Yeah, something to make, you know, liven it up, make it more funny. But yeah, I was just in the self-checkout line and I was regretting my entire decision. I could have just like ordered it online and picked it up there, but no. But then you got to wait for it. Exactly. I I needed it. Right. I needed that plunger ASAP. Mm -hmm. And I got it and I was very happy with myself. But let me just say, it is a humbling experience when you're walking back. Uh, to your apartment. <laughs> and that's all you have. Yeah, all you have is the plunger and your hopes and dreams and plans for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Carrie, for $30, this thing better plunge the toilet yourself. I'm looking at plungers right now. They got them for $15. I know, but in Target, they have all the fancy ones. I, I, cu I could have saved you $13, Carrie. Should I have called you and been like, hey, imagine. I'll ring. Okay, hold on. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hey, Gabe. Um, I'm in a situation right now. Okay. Um, so drop the kids off at the pool. And let me just tell you, I need a plunger right now. Okay. Could I borrow your plunger? Absolutely not. They have them at Target for $16. Have fun. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I, here's what I will say. There are a couple things in, in life you don't want to skimp on price. Yeah. You want a good one of these. Yes. And I think this tool is is one it's okay to spend the extra couple of dollars. It was solid, and I was able to do the job that needed to be done, and I was proud of myself for that. Um, I will say I should have just picked up some extra <laughs> things besides that, so it would have looked <laughs> less suspicious. We've got a cash cow code coming up at 820 on the K Country Morning Show. Now, what's been bothering you today, the past hour, the past week, yeah. the past month, maybe the past few years? It doesn't matter how big or small it is. We're going to support you and validate your feelings. Yeah, you know, I'm not very good at that. No, you are not good. Uh, You're but, trying to. Here's the thing, Gabe. You try to find solutions, which we don't need right now. We need support, not well, solutions. Well, you know, if it's like a five, ten year thing that still bothers you. I mean, we got to learn to let some things go at some point. Well, sometimes it just keeps on just coming back around again. <laughs> And there's nothing you can do. We also.
also have got your cash cow code. Don't forget about that coming up at about 820 this morning on the K-Country Morning Show. Your chance to win up to $30,000. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. If there's something that irks your nerves today, <laughs> could $30,000 solve that? Maybe. It's the K-Country Morning Show. Your cash cow code will be here in about 10 minutes. But first, we have to remind you of this Friday. We have a football Friday. We had a little uh, bit of a, a, a hiatus for a week or two there. Yes. But we are back on the football grindstone. Yeah, and this time we're going to be at Sumner Fredericksburg. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Cougars will be playing this Friday evening. And we're very excited to be heading out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to... Throw the old pig skin around again. We got to make sure it's inflated this time. We might have to go check that uh, football out. Yeah. Yeah. We might have been to, sitting in there for a bit. Yeah. It's been, I mean, with the temperature, it's just, yep. that's, that's our main thing. Like what else are we supposed to do? Wave, talk to people. Well, that's my favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. True. No, that's my favorite part too. But I'm just like, I need something in my hands. So sure. I don't feel awkward. Sure. I feel you. Yeah. I know what you mean. It's if you're ever talking in front of a group of people or something, there's the old suggestion to like hold a pen yes. or something. The problem is, is I'll start fiddling with it. But we are going to be happy to see you Friday. We've had a lot of fun with football Fridays so far this year. And uh, we can't wait to stop on out to Sumner Fredericksburg. I cannot remember if we've been there in the past or not uh, over the course of th almost three years. Sometimes I'll, I, I start to kind of mix up some of the schools yeah. and they sort of blend together over the years. Mm -hmm. So if we have not been there, excited to be there for the first time. Yep. And if we have been there, I can't wait to see you again. It'll be uh, it'll be awesome to see you. Uh, they'll be playing Denver, who I think we've seen play already this season. I think you're right. Or did we go? Yeah, we went to Denver. Yes. That's wild. Yep. That's so funny. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be there this Friday evening at 7 p.m. is the... T uh, the kickoff, rather. Um, we're just very excited to see everyone. On the way, Zach Brown Band, and then it'll be time for your cash cow code. So get your, uh, get the K92 3 app either downloaded or get your pen, pencil ready. Write down the code and enter it on the website. Your etch a sketch. That's right. Whatever you need for your chance to win up to $30,000. The cash cow code's on the way. It's the K Country Morning Show with Gabe Glidden and Carrie Mack. Your cash cow code this hour is. 284. Enter 284 into the free K92 3 app for your chance to win up to $30,000. Uh, this is a great way to put a dent. If you have student loans, put a dent in them. Let me tell you, that is, that, that's always my first thought. Like, if I get a major amount of money, it's going towards student loan bills. Yeah, knocking those out on your life, you know, yeah. uh, getting your debt paid off is always, pro it's like a smart, wise financial decision. Yes, and then well, the leftovers, you can, you know, travel somewhere if you want. You know, what, with $30,000, why don't you go buy like a Louis Vuitton teddy bear or something? That'll cost you a cool 2.1 2 million bucks. A Louis Vuitton teddy bear? <laughs> yep. Like you put a down payment on a teddy bear? That's absolutely <laughs> wild. Who would spend that much money on a stupid teddy bear? Well, Carrie, people who have $2.1 million that they don't care about. So who would? About 0.1% uh, of the people on this earth. But hey, they wouldn't make them if they didn't sell them. This makes me, well, they probably only need to make two to make it, you know, sustainable. I'll be honest. I don't know a ton about Louis Vuitton. So either way. I know they have bags. Bags serve a purpose. You put stuff in them. Teddy bears Kids don't care if it's five dollars nope. or five thousand dollars. They really don't. Nope. And to be honest, I'd be worried about my dog chewing it up. So Oh yeah. There's that. <laughs> Your cash cow code once again is two eight four. Enter two eight four into the free K ninety two three app. We'll have your next code at nine twenty. It's the K-Country Morning Show with Gabe Glenn and Carrie Mack. It is Wednesday, which means we're gonna give you a little free vent session, some free therapy if you'd like it. We want to know, is there something that's really just bothering you? And uh, you can let us know on the K92.3 app or Facebook, of course. What do you have, Carrie? What's been bothering you lately? So this has been something that's been going on for like almost two weeks now. So I need to get a new medication. I've never gotten it before, and I'm very anxious to try it. And But I'm also very excited to try it to see how it works. Okay. And see what it does for not only like my, my brain, but for my body. And... Each time I've called in, the pharmacy doesn't have this medication. Not because they can't fulfill, like, my prescription's not there. It's because there's a shortage of this oh, medication. Oh, okay. A lot of people on it. Yeah, a lot of people on it or, like, they can't make it. I, again, I don't know what, like, goes into making medication. Sure. I, I don't understand. But for the love of all that's good in the world, 
do not send a prescription to a pharmacy and then have the pharmacy like not tell me that they don't have the medication, you know? Like if if they immediately know, oh, we can't fulfill this medication, we don't have this, call or me the, up. Or there's a shortage or yeah. something. Yeah, call me up and be like, hey, we're going to move it over here. We're going to do this for you. Instead of me like having to go up there and figure it out myself. Could I have called them? Sure. But I, this is my first time getting the medication, so I never thought there would be a, sh- a shortage of it. Okay, fair enough, yeah. So, so that's really kind getting of a learning a, curve, it sounds like. Yeah, it's a learning curve, and I'm just getting so annoyed because, like, yeah, getting your prescription fulfilled is such a pain in the butt sometimes. Like, shout out to the amazing pharmacists who are doing their jobs to the best of their ability, but sometimes things get lost in translation or this sort of thing happens. And I'm just so frustrated about it because I just need to get on this medication. Okay. That's all I want. That's all I want. I just It's supposed to make me feel better. It's supposed to make my brain work better. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, but I can't get a hold of it. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah I'm with you there. Okay, I can understand why that would be a bit frustrating. Yeah, that's really irking my nerves. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, please, just, just honestly... Give me the Flintstone gummies and tell me it's what I need, you know? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, let us know on the K92.3 app or give us a call, 833-4985. Facebook, something that's been irking your nerves. I have one that, if I'm being honest, it really doesn't bother me that much, but it's, I would say it's more of a... A nuisance? Like, it's just annoying. Okay. But it's how the world works, so there's not really anything I can do to change it, so I don't let it bother me too much. But maybe someone who works at a bank can maybe walk me through why this isn't possible. We've had conversations like this before. I hate hearing like, oh, we can't do that. There is a massive difference. Yeah, it gets so annoying. I hate hearing that. Now, there is a massive difference between we can't do that or we won't do that. Uh, Just say you won't do it. As opposed to you can't when you really could if you want, if you put your heart and soul to it. Yeah. If someone offered you a gajillion dollars, you would do it. Yeah. Is, so we'll talk about what that is coming up in about 10. Something that irks my nerves or has been irking my nerves. And uh, we'll also get to what's been bothering you in about 10 on the K Country Morning Show. It's the K Country Morning Show with Gabe Glidden and Carrie Mack. It's a Wednesday. We want to know what's been bothering you lately. What's been uh, just an irritant to you, what's just irked your nerves, as Mm -hmm. Carrie likes to put it. And here's something that I don't know if it bothers me that much, but it's enough to bring it up on this show. It's annoying. It's a nuisance. Do you know what I will never understand about banks, Mm -hmm. right? Let's say you go out and nothing happened to me. It's just like, but let's say on a Saturday, Mm -hmm. right? You go out and you buy something with your debit card or credit card or whatever, or you do it on a Sunday. We're talking Mm -hmm. about a weekend or a holiday, right? You buy something on Saturday, and you don't get charged for it until Tuesday. Oh! Why why is it in 2024, all right, we can put cameras the size of pinheads uh, inside of buildings to keep us safe, We can put monkeys on the moon. For all we know, Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio spend their weekends on Mars. You are trying to tell me, banks, when you buy something, no matter what time of the day, what day of the week, can't just instantly remove the money from your account. I hate the pending thing yes. right on your bank statement. Like, Why? Like, just tell me it's gone. Just tell me the money's gone. Exactly. You know? you know, and it's not, it's not the end of the world, you know, you just, but it's something you have to keep track of. And you have to take into account. Exactly. I can send Carrie right now well, not this amount of money, but and you wouldn't. But it's possible that if I wanted to send Carrie, you know, $50,000, I could do so with the touch of a couple of buttons. Mm-hmm. Literally on my phone. You're telling me a bank that has gajillions of dollars can't just like take turn the computer on on Sundays? <laughs> I don't get it. And, there's and not- there might be a real reason for this, and yeah. I don't know it, but it is annoying. I've noticed it's some businesses that this happens with. It's not yeah. all businesses. And it might not even be the bank, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It could also be the store doesn't yes. take the money out. Because Amazon, you know Amazon's taking the money out when I'm buying something right. for a, a friend that I'm sending them to. Right. Uh, but for some reason, it's always like... Maybe it's a gas station sometimes. Sure, yes. They do that. Exactly. And I'm just like, what are we doing? Yeah, in today's technology, how is it just not gone right away at the blink of an eye? 
And money's not real anyway. Come on, just take it out <laughs> yeah. for the love of I God. Just, I don't understand that. That is a good and one. It might not be the bank's fault. So if you are a bank, I apologize. I'm not coming for you. I just, with computers today yes. and the capabilities NASA has, we can't just make numbers appear and disappear when we swipe our cards. Exactly. I don't get it. That is so good. We got some more comments on Facebook, K92.3 Waterloo, about things that are irking your nerves. Uh, and Michelle said stupidity. Sure. There is nothing. Again, it's not like they're not smart. It's just that they're thoughtless. That's sure. my thing. Like, yeah. they're, they're, stupid, stupid is as stupid does. Uh, you can't fix stupid, as my uncle said. Uh, Sarah said someone always trying to one up another person. Oh, yeah. When you got to add something that's just a little bit maybe better or something that's just a little more enjoyable, whatever the case may be. Can I, can I say something that happened at work recently? Oh, yeah? What happened? Uh, so I was recognized for something. Oh, yeah. Which was, you know, really cool. It was like a company thing. I got recognized. And a coworker responded, that happened to me last week and nobody said anything. I LOL. I was like, just stop. <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> yeah, I that, do know what you're That's exactly about. what it was. Uh, John said, when people don't use the highway on-ramp to reach highway speed. Yeah, if you're not, you know, pushing up to a 50, 55, 60 on the on-ramp to get on the highway, what are you doing? Now, if there's a semi in front of you and mm -hmm. you can't, I get it. That's a bit different. But the on-ramp is meant for you to merge into the highway, not yeah. drive 35 and then go on the highway and then speed up. Like, are you driving a golf cart? <laughs> Why do you need to go at the speed of smell? It's the K-Country Morning Show with Gabe Glidden and Carrie Mack. And coming up in about 10 minutes, we had an excellent conversation this morning. A great debate. World changing. One may say. And it has absolutely zero to do with maybe what you watched or listened to on TV last night. We talk about the subjects that you really want to discuss. The ones you talk about at work, at the job site, with your coworkers at the water cooler. Yeah. Your kids, your wife when they get home or when you get home from work. Yeah, not the presidential election. Election, not like world politics. It's K92.3 with Gabe Glidden and Carrie Mack. And don't forget, coming up in about 10 minutes, we'll have your cash cow code. Your chance went up to $30,000. And you could buy a whole lot of tacos with $30,000. I would guess somewhere between fifteen to to like 20,000 of them. Depending on where you go and what yeah. kind they are. If they're the hard shell, the soft shell, if you get from Taco Bell or an artisanal taco place or Ex something like that. Exactly. Uh, you'll be able to buy a lot of them with that cash cow code. And the reason we're bringing up tacos is, uh, Carrie, yesterday was National Taco Day. Mm -hmm. And we want to know, what do you believe is the superior taco uh, ex exterior? Yeah. All right. Is it the hard shell or the soft shell taco? And... Uh, what do you think, Jerry? Hey, it's Jerry. I'm always driving. I can never text you guys. Oh, what that's about all right, dude. We like, we like when you give us phone calls. Good to hear your we voice, We like talking Jerry. to you, Jerry. What about the Super Taco Bravos? It's hard and soft. Same time. See? You got the, uh, the, the hard shell interior with the soft shell exterior wrapped around. We actually got a tip on how to make sure they kind of stick together as you can use sour yeah, cream or beans. Right yep. Yep. You don't have to choose. You got both. You got the best. <laughs> To both worlds. <laughs> I hey, you could just do it that way. Get a yes. little bit of both, but yeah. maybe maybe they don't have to be, have one better than the other. Maybe one day we could all just stand together and hold hands and enjoy the tacos <laughs> that we want to enjoy. <laughs> I think that's the real American dream. It's the K Country Morning Show, and we're gonna end today's program with a little game we like to call Celebrities. Gabriel doesn't know. Oh, that was a good one. That, that was, was good. Weird. We were in harmony. That's right. That was call us Joey Fatone and Justin Timberlake. We were in sync. That's beautiful. There we go. Today is October 2nd. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. You share a birthday with this 51-year-old man. He played Pedro in Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, that was just such a... That movie came out at the height of kind of my generation. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, that movie was out. I was either like a junior or senior in high school. Yeah. Uh, just such a cult classic of the late 2000s. I will also say I have no clue who that guy is. <laughs> That's Efren Ramirez. He's 51. Happy birthday to him. This 53-year-old singer, her biggest hit is I Think We're Alone Now. I think we're alone now. Oh. 
I know the song. I don't think I know who that is. I also have a correction, Carrie. Yeah. Napoleon Dynamite came out in 2004, so I we would have been about 15 years old, not 16. Yeah, I was six. I, I've never seen it. It's a little bit, I don't know if it would be my sense of humor. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Absolutely cult classic for any 90s baby there. But uh, this singer is Tiffany. Oh, Happy sorry. birthday to Tiffany. Sorry, my bad, Tiffany. I forgot about you. Happy birthday. This 54-year-old is the one half of the live with Kelly and Ryan, the live with uh, Kelly and Mark. Oh, she's on the TV all the time. Yeah. Kelly uh, uh, Ripa. Yeah, there we go. Kelly Ripa. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. This 73-year-old, his biggest hit is Trudy Styler. Is that a person or is that a song? Did they make a joke that I didn't get? Do do I know who this person is? Um, this oh like should I? Oh, Trudy, he got with Trudy. I want the actual song, dude. Okay, I'm not gonna say who it is. I almost said it. Uh, this was one of my first concerts. I've told you this. Any Lennox and what happens when a B hits you? Oh, okay, yeah, Sting. Yeah, Sting. Man, that's a person. I don't like that joke that they made. Okay, this 79-year-old, his biggest hit is 1971's American Pie. Oh, that's Don McLean, right? Yeah, there bye, we go. Bye, bye, Miss American, American Pie. Pie. Drove my Chevy to, to the, the levee, levee, but the levee was dry. Okay. Them good old boys was drinking whiskey and rye. Hey, now we're that's gonna a long song. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, we're going to move on to the people who are no longer with us. This man died in 2005, but he was... A real life lawyer who his case became such a big case, and there's a TV show about it. OJ Simpson. Uh, if you think of this line, you'll definitely know who he is if you followed the case, the OJ Simpson case. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Oh, man. It's one of the lawyers. Yeah, I, I, I've i seen that show and the big documentary about that case, so I don't think it was the Kardashian dude. No. And the only other lawyer I remember from that was Johnny Cochran. That's it. You got oh, it. Oh, all right, there, cool. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, you were a fan of the Little Rascals, right? I've seen the movie, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm going to know anyone's name from it. Okay, but. this man died in 1993. He was the leader of the Little Rascals. George Spanky McFarland. That dude passed away? Yeah. He died in 1993. Oh, maybe he was, was the born or- in 1928, though. Yeah, maybe it was like the original yeah, is this, Little Rascals. This, this, is he like the creator? I don't oh, know. this was the old... Okay, not the t- not the movie. Yeah, this, this was like a show. TV show Got or something. You. Okay, okay. Uh, well, t- sorry, guy. Today is National Coffee with a Cop Day. It's also National Name Your Car Day and 29 days until Halloween. All right. Well, we hope you have an excellent day. We're going to try to be a little bit better tomorrow. We have 30 minutes of nonstop country on the way, and Jess will have another code for you at 1020. The world is full of nice people. If you can't find one, you got to be one. Are you ready to get serious about your weight loss journey? Tried crash and burn calorie restriction? Considering the invasive strategy of GLP-1 injections like Ozempic? Slow down and consider a safer, easier, and long-lasting solution. Golo is clinically proven to work without the dangerous side effects of injections and fad diets. Golo's release helps your body combat the stress of dieting while controlling cravings and hunger. Minimize muscle loss and feel better with Golo. Just take one Golo Release supplement with each meal and follow the Golo for Life plan. It's an effective and affordable plan to lose weight for good. There are no insurance hoops to jump through, no prescription needed, just sensible, effective weight loss and a healthier lifestyle on your terms. Get started on a healthier, happier, and more energetic you at Golo.com. Five million people have already discovered a better way to lose weight. Join them and go to Golo.com. That's G-O-L-O dot com today.